This is the Persia that people speak and dream about. Palaces of ancient kings and masks of fathomless beauty, evoking the exotic splendor of the thousand and one nights and the wine-soaked wisdom of Omar Khayyam. Less is known about modern Persia, legacy of Reza Shah the Great, whose tomb lies some five miles south of Tehran. One of his most important contributions to the nation is the Red Lion and Sun Welfare Foundation, Persian equivalent of the International Red Cross. Near his tomb stands the Reza Shah the Great School of Nursing. Each year, 40 nurses graduate from this school to work in different departments of the organization and state hospitals. In efficient and modern surroundings, these girls prepare for their future responsibilities. An example of the care given to orphans can be seen at the Tehran Home for Children. Here, a hundred youngsters are trained to face life with enterprise and independence. Special attention is given to vocational training. There are 36 such homes throughout the country. Not far from here, a larger vocational training center accommodates 400 boys. After an initial period of general education, these boys specialize in various crafts of their own choice and become electricians, mechanics, iron workers, carpenters and so forth. They are also trained to operate the most modern machinery. With 123 departments administering nearly 300 charitable institutions, the Red Lion and Sun provides a wide range of medical services. 
This emergency hospital has four outpatient departments, operation rooms, beds for more serious cases, and x-ray facilities. The cancer hospital, the largest of its kind in Persia, is supplied with the latest equipment for research and treatment of cancer. The Hospital for Lung Diseases is a leading center in the nationwide campaign against TB. Each day, hundreds of people are x-rayed and examined and more than 500 are vaccinated against the disease. The campaign has already done much to reduce the number of tubercular cases in Tehran. Cities and towns throughout the country, and even some villages, are linked together by a vast communication network created by the Red Lion and Sun. This enables the foundation to rush emergency aid to any area stricken by natural disasters. First aid and medical supplies, food, Clothing and tents are kept in constant readiness to be shipped by air whenever needed with a minimum delay. In smaller towns, institutions suited to local requirements have been set up for orphaned children. In addition to their education and training, many efforts are being made to prepare these children for the complexities of modern society. In these workshops, the machine has not yet replaced the human hand. The students are learning various crafts that they will exercise later in life. Provincial schools of nursing help to raise general sanitary standards.
graduate nurses are employed in the numerous branches of the Department for the Protection of Mothers and Children. These branches are all equipped with operation rooms and dispensaries. Medicine and powdered milk are distributed free of charge to needy mothers. From the very first days of pregnancy, special attention is given to each expectant mother. Nearly 16,000 infants are accommodated in the various nurseries of this department. These infants are vaccinated against diseases such as polio, whooping cough, tetanus and diphtheria and are kept under close observation until they are weaned. The work of the Red Lion and Sun extends to the remotest tribal areas and villages. Extensive efforts are being made so that everyone may benefit from the services it provides. These were but a few examples. The long-term objective of the Red Lion and Sun is to abolish disease, poverty and hunger, helping to create the basis of a better life for a nation which has a proud and glorious past.